Okay, here's just another quick video overview of the stages and processes of memory. Sometimes students in intro psych get confused between the processes of memory, encoding, storage, and retrieval, and the different stages of memory, sensory, short-term, and long-term. Okay, these models are mutually compatible. So here we're looking at sensory memory. And as you're aware of, most of this is encoded either visually or auditorily. Okay, iconic is just a fancy word for visual, and echoic is just a fancy word for sounds or auditory information. So most of our sensory memory is encoded visually and auditorily. The storage of sensory memory is very brief, and there is no retrieval process here. Information is either completely lost or it's transformed to short-term memory. Now most of the encoding for short-term memory is acoustic, and visual in nature. The storage of our short-term memory is longer than sensory memory, okay, about 30 seconds, but can even be longer with practice and rehearsal. Again, retrieval is not really uh, involved here. Information is either lost, okay, if you've ever tried to just remember a phone number long enough to order a pizza or something like that, you usually forget it right after you dial it. Okay, that information is lost, or if you've practiced the information and worked with it enough, it may be transferred to long-term memory. Long-term memory can be acoustic, visual, and semantic, okay? But most of our long-term memories tend to be semantic or tend to be about meaning. Um, many of these memories are long-term, possibly lifelong in terms of their storage. And retrieval occurs, um, we can retrieve this information and sometimes uh, cues um, will help us remember something. And the activation of semantic networks, what that means is that when we think of one concept, it may allow us to think of other related concepts. Okay, so again, we have three different stages of memory, sensory, short-term, and long-term. And the process of encoding, storage, and retrieval can be examined for each stage. So hopefully that clarifies um, the memory st stage model and the different processes.